You know, I have always loved dogs, but there was a moment in my life when I was tempted to reconsider my affection for them. My family owned a Siberian Husky, and we called her Manda. She had beautiful blue eyes and affectionately communicated us with happy growls. Now, some of you are wondering growls, but those of you who have ever had a Siberian Husky know those growls are very friendly. Unfortunately, one day, Manda broke loose from her kennel traveled two miles up the road and killed, I mean slaughtered, a neighborhood farmer's flock of sheep. All eight of them. I know this because a police officer came to our home and told us what she had done. Oh my. There was nothing I could do but wait to see what judgment the farmer would require of me and my dog. You see, he had every right to shoot my dog and every right to sue my family and every right, of course, to yell and humiliate me in front of all those who are standing by. But amazingly, this farmer did none of the above. He expressed his sorrow for losing his sheep, told me to keep a better eye on my dog in the future. I was blown away. I went home with my dog completely overwhelmed by the grace this farmer had shown me. Even the police officer was shocked. I was truly forgiven and reconciled. For days I thought about this and was moved by the farmer's kindness. And one day, I asked if I could help him around the farm. He agreed. I did this not to earn his forgiveness, but precisely because he had already given it to me. His grace had moved me to gratitude. He even paid me for the work I did that summer. Let that sink in for a little bit. This story is a beautiful glimpse of the amazing grace and love of the Lord Jesus because he forgave and reconciled us to himself. This amazing grace should lead us into a lifestyle of gratitude. What experiences in your life have been windows into God's grace?